Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be talking about this Adams type motor right here. Um, as you can see, it has neodymium magnets. They're all on the same polarity facing out. Um, each coil, there's two of them right here, electromagnets here, um, are in the repulsion mode, as is with the Adams motor. Um, this motor here, we're timing it with optical timing. And you can see the little circuit there, and then we have a full bridge rectifier for the output. Output goes through the capacitors and into the second battery. Um, this motor here is very torquey, because as you can see here, it has a lot of pull to the electromagnets. So half the power of the motor is actually just the magnet itself. So let's fire this thing up. So, see right here at full power, we're using the 3.7 amps. Here's the input, pulsing along. There's the oscilloscope readings on it. And we could slow it down using the pulse width modulator. Bring it down. Go down pretty slow to where it's pretty much all pulse width. Uh, it's still producing output. It's a little bit slower. The interesting thing about this motor is when you turn the power down so much it just locks up has so much attraction to those um, steel electromagnets and electromagnets are actually uh, big nails that I made into electromagnets but um, yeah you give about half power and it starts right up that's quite low uh, the torque is quite high I can't physically stop it with my hand without burning my fingers off so it has a lot of torque Runs good. It has a very distinctive sound, that attraction and repulsion. Um, let me check this thing down. So, about 20 years ago, I made this motor, which is basically the same setup, except the magnets are um, ferric, ferrous magnets. They're quite weak but they still have the same effect so you get it about right there and you get a little bit of power from the magnets and then this is one that I made a couple years back this actually has a, a closed magnetic field so it has a magnetic loop around it more like a regular motor it goes all the way around it where this one is obviously open this this side of the electromagnet doesn't get used where on this one, it has kind of like a step system. It has two circuits, optical timing. And as you can see right here, this is the only time on these two little notches. So it basically goes this top and bottom coil at once, and then the magnetic field can travel around. And then when it changes rotation, it goes to these two. So there's actually two neomagnets on the rotor and then four poles with two circuits and uh, I'm going to be doing a video on this one next this one is quite powerful and uh, also here coming up on the next videos this is my outboard motor that's a pulse motor so you guys will be seeing that pretty soon just got this done a couple months back so anyway thank you for watching have a good night